Hey loves, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. My name is Sharon and I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe and like button. And while you're at it, hit that little bell icon. It'll give you notifications when I upload a new video. So in today's video, I am swatching the brand new Light Elegance Spring Collection. This was kindly sent to me from Korea creative beauty as I am ambassador for them. So I am doing the swatches and review for this new collection, which is called Afternoon Picnic. It looks like a bunch of really beautiful spring colors. So I'm really excited to dive into them. So as you can see, the size is a little different. So I was sent the full sizes in the 17 mil for the glitters. And then these are the solids and they are the little six mil jars. So that's where the size comparison comes from. So if you're interested in seeing what I think of these and how they apply, then keep watching. So here is a closer look at what the collection looks like. These are the glitters. If you know me, you know I'm excited for the green glitter. So I can't wait to open that one first. And once again, it's called Afternoon Picnic. Yeah, I can't wait to see that green. And then this is the little mini sizes of the Solid Colors collection. So you can see the size difference right there. But once again, I think I'm most excited for this green. Light Elegance does already have a few pastel greens, so I'm curious to see how this one differs from them. They also have a lot of these like reddish oranges, so once again, I'm curious to see how that differs. Um, this shade right off the photo kind of looks like Tarte at Heart, so I'm curious to see if that is similar as well. So keep watching if you want to see how these apply fly. Okay, so the first color we're starting off with is Cucumber Sandwich. It looks like a light green, possibly holographic. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like. Ooh, it's very, very pastel. This looks really sheer. I don't know if we're going to get much pigmentation. It could be a topper though, if you put a solid color down and then put this on top, if you don't want that sheer look. I'm just grabbing my little mixing tool. Just see if I give it a good mix here. Looks like a beautiful color though. So let's see how this applies now. Oh yeah, it is super, super sheer. That actually looks really pretty just on its own like that. I don't, um, I don't know if you would need, like obviously you could put a color underneath and just have this on top, but it actually looks really pretty on its own. So I'm gonna cure this and do one more coat and see what we can build it up to be. Okay, and here is two coats of cucumber sandwich. As you can see, there is not really much green to this. It is pretty much a clear, holographic, iridescent glitter. There's like the slightest hue of green, but yeah, I wouldn't call this a green glitter. It's pretty nonetheless. Um, you could definitely wear it on its own like this or put a layer of it on top of a solid color. So once again, that is Cucumber Sandwich. Next, we have a spot by the steam. So I'm thinking this is going to be a silver, chunky, holographic glitter. Yep, 
Yep, that's exactly what it is. Though, this does look more of a clear with silver um, holographic chunkies in it, little hexagons. I feel like this one is also going to be not super pigmented. But sometimes with these glitters, it's really nice because you can kind of move the glitters how you want on the nail. Okay, that is coat number one. And I'm just gonna cure this and do a second coat. All right, and here is two coats. So as you can see, it did build up pretty decent. There are some spots that are missing. I did try and maneuver the glitter around to cover all of those. So I do think this is a versatile glitter. You could use it as a glitter fade. Um, if you want to put a solid color down and put a layer of this, I think that'd be beautiful. I think this glitter looks like a combination of Ice Ice Baby, which is like a silver, mixed with Swing by Sweden, which is a white iridescent glitter. It's one of my favorite favorite glitters of all time. So I kind of feel like mix those two and you come out with something like this, which is really beautiful. So once again, this is a spot by the stream. Okay, the next color is You Bring the Wine. This looks like it's going to be a beautiful, like reddish, rose goldy, holographic, chunky glitter, my hopes. So let's open it and see what it actually looks like. Oh, oh that is stunning. Are you guys seeing this? Of course you're seeing this, you're watching this video. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is definitely like a rose gold with holographic chunky glitters. Light Elegance does not have anything like this. Um, the closest thing that comes to my head is Cheers from Down Under, which is like a chunky rose gold, but it leans more to the pinks. Whereas this is a true, true rose gold, and it has holographic chunky. This is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. That is just one coat and it's already gorgeous. So I'm going to cure this and come back with two coats. Okay, so here is two coats. How stunning is that? I absolutely love, love it. I think this is, I'm just going to call it, but I think this is going to be my favorite glitter out of these six. And this is the third one in so far, but this is just gorgeous. Really beautiful rose gold with chunky holographic. So once again, that is You Bring the Wine. <laughs> Next, we're diving into Sweet tea. I always hear like Americans talking about sweet tea. Um, I'm kind of curious what it tastes like. <laughs> I've personally never had it. I don't even know if we have anything similar in Canada. If we do comment below, I'd love to know. All right. This looks like a beautiful, soft, um, I'd say like more of a peachy pink glitter. It's very, very soft. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a mix here. And it's like a ultra fine glitter as well with that like kind of um, holographic or not holographic iridescent 
softness to it. It's very eye-catching. <laughs> Let's give this a swatch. Okay, so this is almost like a matte glitter, like ultra fine matte glitter with those iridescent gold um, fine glitter. It's very, very neat. I really like this color. Um, so I'm going to give this a cure and do a second coat. Okay, so here is two coats. It builds up pretty decently. It is a little bit of a sheer glitter. Um, so I'm finding the, the pattern with all of these are they are very sheer. Um, you can apply them on top of a solid color. That might be more helpful. Um, but they're all building up fairly decently. And this one is just really unique. I like that it's kind of like this matte glitter but it has that goldish iridescent um, ultra fine glitter to it. It's very, very pretty. So this one was Sweet Tea. Next, we're diving into Meet Me by the Blueberries. This is a cute name. So this looks like a light, maybe holographic iridescent blue glitter. I feel like that's the train. A lot of holographic and iridescent glitters so far. I'm thinking all of them are gonna be that. Ooh! Oh, this is a beautiful blue tone. Wow. I definitely have nothing like this shade. Wow, I actually think this is gorgeous. And I'm really not the biggest blue wearer, um, but this is really, really beautiful. This would have been so nice for Christmas and snowflakes. Um, once again, it is just like that sweet tea color we just did. It has like that matte fine glitter, but then it has, instead of gold, iridescent glitter this is a silver iridescent that is beautiful i love this and i have a couple clients that love blue so i think they are going to absolutely want this just gonna give it a little stir here oh that is beautiful Okay, there is one coat. I'm gonna go and do a second coat and be back. Okay, here is two coats. I really like this. This is the second, my second favorite out of the collection so far. I think this is a really, really beautiful, unique blue. Definitely don't have anything like it. So once again, that was Meet Me by the Blueberries. Such a cute name. Okay, so the last shade of the glitters is Pears and pa Pastries. Pears and Pastries. Um, so this looks like it's going to be a silver holographic, possibly iridescent, um, maybe a clear. Oh, oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I was not excited to open this, but this looks really beautiful. Oh, I hope it applies nice. I feel like this is going to be pretty iridescent that it's not going to apply very nice. Um, but look, oh, this tone is stunning. I love that. It's like totally, um, 
totally a purpley lavender with the iridescent glitters in it. That is stunning. Oh, I love this one. Um, okay, let's apply it. Here goes nothing. I hope it applies nice. Okay, so that didn't apply too bad. Um, I think a lot of that purple hue that's in the jar, it kind of disappears on the nail. It's still there though, it is still there. It's kind of like that first green one we did, the cucumber sandwich. Um, I think this one's a little more pigmented than the green but it's definitely like that where it has that kind of purpley lavender uh, hue base to it and then it has the ultra fine glitter. So I'm gonna cure this, we're gonna do a second coat. Okay, and here is two coats. This is such a pretty soft color. Um, I would say you could definitely do just two coats like this. I feel like it built it up pretty nice. If you want it more solid or to bring more of that purple lavender out of it, put like a lavender solid color behind it and then put a layer of this over top. I think that'll be beautiful. Um, or have this as like a glitter fade, like just a subtle little glitter fade would be beautiful as well. Um, yeah, I think this is my third favorite out of the collection. So once again, this was pears and pastries. Okay, so the first color in the solids is Let's Get Together. These do not want to come off very well for me today. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, so this is a very vibrant coral. It borderlines almost red, but it definitely is a coral. It's not a red, but um, this is actually really, really beautiful. It looks so creamy. Let's give this a swatch and see how it applies. That applies quite nice. Um, so if you kind of just did the technique I did where you paint on one thin layer and then you take another, um, another scoop of it and float it down, I think that applied really well. I don't see any shadowing in there. So I'm going to give this a cure now. Okay, so here is one coat. I don't think you would need two coats. It is pretty pigmented. If you applied it the way I did and put it under a finished file nail, I think this would be all you need. Um, you could definitely try and put this on a finished file nail and do two thin coats. I'm sure it would work. It was really pigmented. So once again, that is Let's Get Together. The next shade is Under the Shade Tree. Okay, so it is a very, very light pastel minty green. Very, very pretty. Um, I do think this looks like something. I'm going, while this is curing, I'm gonna go and look at what that color was. Cause I feel like this does look like a couple colors. Okay. 
okay, there is one coat. And I think that actually applied really well. Once again, I don't see any shadowing. It does look a little more white than in the jar. So this is more of a white with just a slight minty green hue to it. Um, so less green, more white. But I'm going to give this a cure. Okay, so the shade I was referring to was Morning Swim. So you can see it is actually a lot lighter than Morning Swim. Okay, here's that color again. This is just one coat, super pigmented. I'm quite surprised with that. I'm really happy. Um, this is definitely more of a white with just a light pastel minty green hue to it. So once again, that was under the shade tree. Okay, next shade is what's in your basket. Mine would have peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> what would yours have? Maybe some apple juice boxes. I feel like I'm literally a five-year-old. I love apple juice and I love chocolate milk. Oh, this is a beautiful color. I don't know if I'd say this is overly, overly unique, but it is a beautiful color. And I'm not sure I even really have anything exactly like this. It's a very mauve toned pink. Hopefully that makes sense. It's showing up true in my camera. It's so creamy looking. Wow, that's beautiful. I am going to definitely get use out of this one. Yep, that is beautiful. I would even wear this on my nails. Oh, I love it. So I'm gonna give that a cure and we'll be back. Okay, so here is one coat. How pretty is this one? I love it. It's so unique. Like, I think it is actually a unique color. It's very like mauvey, but peachy type of pink. I really, really love this, and I think it's going to be a staple if you're in your collection. So once again, that was what's in your basket. Next is Delightful Day. I like the name of this one. Okay, so here is your standard Barbie kind of pastel pink. Uh, this looks like Skip to My Lulu. Skip to My Lulu, I know, is a little brighter than this, but that's the one that comes to my head first when I look at this. Um, yeah, I don't think this is unique. It is a very beautiful pink and definitely going to be a staple, um, but I definitely don't think it's unique. Okay, that applied once again really nicely. So all these colors are applying really, really well if you're doing the technique I'm doing. Um, but as you can see, even when I just did that one super thin coat, it was pretty pigmented. So I feel like you could get away with it doing a finished file nail and painting um, a layer of it on top. I obviously haven't fully tried that, but I feel like you could get away with it. So I'm going to cure this and we'll be back. 
Okay, so here is one coat, full coverage, really beautiful. Once again, it's not super unique, but it is definitely a staple for all you pink lovers, and it applied really nice, which is awesome. So once again, that was a delightful day. Okay, so the next shade is Blue Skies Ahead. Okay, so I would call this, it's not a pastel blue, but I wouldn't say it's a medium blue either. It's somewhere in the middle of a pastel and a medium. Um, very creamy looking. I've said before, I'm not the hugest blue fan. I... I wouldn't wear this shade of blue, but I know I have a couple girls that I think would love this. So I can't wait for them to see this one. Okay. You know what? I might retract what I said. This does look like kind of a pretty blue. I definitely could see this with some floral, like some like 3D flowers with some gold accents. I really think that would be pretty. Or for like Christmas time and snowflakes and silver. I do think this is a pretty blue. So I, I retract what I said. <laughs> okay, so here is one coat. This one I can definitely, definitely get use out of. I was iffy at first, but yeah, I think I've warmed up to it. <laughs> so this one was blue skies ahead. Okay, so the last color in this spring 2021 collection is Lazy Day Lavender, which I think over this year, we've all had some pretty lazy days. Okay, so I remember saying this reminds me of Tarte at Heart. Um, it does remind me of Tarte at Heart. I'll grab the swatch. I think it might be a tiny bit darker, but it does look very similar. But I love how creamy these are. Okay, well, all of the colors applied really nice. This is a beautiful shade. So I'm gonna cure this and I'll be back with that Tarte at Heart comparison. Okay, so I was right. It is just a slight darker than the Tarte at Heart. Um, they are very similar but they are just a slight difference. They're both beautiful colors. I've used Tarte at Heart so many times, um, so I feel like I'll, this will be a staple to have as well. But yeah, so not much of a difference. Okay, and there is one coat. This is the last shade in the collection. Really beautiful, staple purple to have. I love that it's like a medium tone. It just goes nicely all throughout the year. Love it. So once again, that was Lazy Day Lavender. Okay, so my final thoughts on the 2021 spring collection called Afternoon Picnic. I have mixed feelings. A hundred percent, this is such a spring collection. That's what they gave us, absolutely. These are a hundred percent spring colors, which I can appreciate. Um, I actually really love the solid colors. I think um, they are all 
staples. Now, a few of these definitely look like colors that are very similar to what you may already have in your collection. But as a whole, I really, really like these colors. And I think that if you don't already have these, you must pick this up. I think you'll be really happy, even if you just pick up the little mini size collection. As for the glitters, um, okay, I absolutely love this one, which was Bring Your Own Wine. That was stunning. I love this blue. Surprisingly, I really do love that blue. And then I'd say this pink, the Sweet Tea Pink. Um, these three right here, eh, I don't really like them. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, I this one is really beautiful i wish it was a little more pigmented more lavender like leaning towards that um then i think it would have been on point this green is just so lacking um you guys know i love my green so i was hoping for like a green green not like this see-through um transparenty kind of green um and this one there's just too many shades like that um, that Ellie has. It's a beautiful color. So if you don't already have a shade like this, then yes, absolutely pick this up. Um, but definitely standout shades that I think if you don't have, you must need to pick up. Pick up this one. Pick up this one, which is what's in the basket. I'd say those two are a must have. This one is going to be so fun for summer. So let's get together, I think is going to be amazing. And if you do like blue, pick this one up. It is really unique. So those are my four. If you're not going to pick up the whole collection, those are the four that I would say I think we'll get the most use. I'm just calling it now. <laughs> so if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and comment below which is your favorite color out of this collection. I'd love to hear. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.